Hello everyone, myself Dr. Mahindra Kumar Badwa, third year resident, SMS Medical College, Jaipur. Presenting a paper on role of MRI in assessment of patients with painful knee joint under the guidance of Kuldeep Kumar Mandiratta sir. Introduction. Knee joint is one of the largest joint in the human body with complex articulation characterized by presence of ligamentous and minuscule structures that play an important role in stability and mobility. This articulation is subject to very high mechanical stress. These process and injuries that disrupt ligaments, high articular cartilage, and other structures will cause pain to knee, resulting in significant mobility and disability. Accurate and timely diagnosis increases the likelihood of fully restoring normal and pain free use of affected knee. Physical examination of painful knee in acute phase may be difficult, and frequently imaging studies are required to aid in assessment of these injuries. Number of imaging modalities are currently used to evaluate knee abnormalities, including standard radiography, scientigraphy, CT scan, plane tomography, and orthography. Plane radiography is leg sensitivity for detection of meniscus, cartilage, bone, and marrow, and ligamentous injuries. Even CT scan is not enough to diagnose many internal derangements of knee joint. Use of orthography and arthroscopy improves the accuracy of diagnosis, but both are invasive and cause complications. MR has provided excellent soft tissue contrast and is capable of evaluating the soft tissue and bony structures in multiple imaging planes, which have provided a significant advantage for MRI over other imaging techniques. MRI represents a non-invasive radiation-free technique that provides access to a real regional mapping. MR has been demonstrated as a cost-effective technique by reducing unnecessary surgical interventions. Objectives of our study were describe the MRI features in various types of traumatic and non-traumatic lesions, including painful knee joint and present various identified etiology of painful knee joints. Materials and methods. The study was a hospital-based descriptive study conducted at SMS Medical College, Jaipur. Total number of patients with 50 patients being referred from departments of the or hospital for painful knee joints were included in the study and patients referred from other centers and post-operative cases were excluded from the study. All the MRI scans were performed using 3.0 Tesla MRI chips in the machine. Results were analyzed by descriptive analysis. Specific findings that explained the cause of pain were compiled. My MRI protocols used are the sequence obtained was T1 and T2 weighted sequences in sagittal planes, proton density weighted sequences in axial coronal and sagittal planes, and PET suppressed T2 or stress sequences. Patients were examined in supine position with knee extension and slight external rotation, 10 to 15 degree, and axillary coil. Results in our study group, which comprised of a total number of 50 patients, the age get the presentation with knee patient, knee pain ranged from 18 to 64 years. The maximum number of patients affected belongs to the group 21 to 24 years age group. Out of 50 patients, 32 were male and 18 were female. Only two patients were with normal MRI findings and 40 were 48 patients were with abnormal MRI findings. Distribution of patients according to age tabulated here. Distribution of patients according to knee pathologies. Pathology, ACL pathology in 21 patients, ACL in 5, meniscus pathology in 32 patients, which was the most common in our study, collateral ligaments in 7 patients, bone contusion in 24, muscular in 1, and joint dependent found in 42 patients. Analysis of meniscal injury patterns. Out of 50 patients evaluated for MRI knee or painful knee joint, 32 patients had 59 meniscal tears. In 32 patients, 15 patients had only medial meniscal injuries, 5 patients only lateral meniscal pathology, and 12% has both medial as well as lateral meniscal pathology. Meniscal tears. Out of 59 meniscal tears, 30 tears involved the posterior horn, 16 involved the anterior horn, and 5 involved the body of meniscus. Grading of meniscal tears. 4 are the grade 1 tears, 40 are the grade 2 tears, and 15 were the grade 3 tears. Grade 2 tears were the most common finding. Distribution of various types of meniscal tears, vertical tears in 30 tears, horizontal in 11, complex tear in 17, and bucket handle tear in 1. Analysis of ligamentous injury patterns. ACL tears in 21%, PCL tears in 5%, MCL tears in 4%, and lateral collateral ligament tears in 3%. ACL tear injuries were the most common, followed by the PCL, MCL, and LCL tears. Site of ligament tear was most commonly encountered at femoral attachment, followed by the mid substance site. Regions of ACL found in the 21%, in which the acute partial tear was the most common. Regions of PCL tears found in the 5%, out of which acute partial tears were the most common. Collateral ligament injuries found in the 7%, in which the 4% had the medial collateral ligament regions. 
proton density fat suppressed and titubated fat suppressed coronal image showing complete tear of the ACL and bone contusion the lateral tibial condyle. Buckling of the PCL with anterior translocation of the tibia also noted here. Bone contusions. Total 24% has signs of bone contusion. Bone contusions were found most common in tibia followed by femur. Contusions in the lateral femoral condyle being more common than the medial femoral condyle. Distribution of bone contusion is the bones forming knees, tibia most common, followed by femur, patella, fibula. Other lesions found in the study are the cystic lesions found in 12% in which Baker's is most common, neoplastic lesions found in the 4% in which encondrum found in the 2%, osteoarthritis changes found in the 8% in which 4% involved the medial compartment. Our study was the observational analysis of the various causes of painful knee detected by MR imaging. In this study, we found that the mean age of the group was 34.6 years with a male dominance. Our results are in concordance with those of Nyarvansala et al. and Rajpali Yadav et al. 2% of our ST population had normal MRI. This is in contrast with the previously reported 17% rate of normal MRI in sports related injury. This is, might be due to the fact that we included patients with a painful knee rather than just traumatic knee injuries. Meniscal tears, but the commonest soft tissue abnormally found in our study, tear in all the posterior from the medial meniscus more commonly. These results are concordance with the previously reported literature. Rate 2 was the commonest meniscal tear in our study, in which contrast with the reported by Arumogam et al., who reported grade 3 as the commonest grade tear. Vertical tears are found to be the most commonest type of meniscal tear. This contrast with the previous finding of horizontal tear being the commonest meniscal type by Pashupulati B. et al. All the vertical tears in our study associated with the history of trauma reported literature also describe vertical tears being traumatic in nature. Only 1% in our study had a bucket handle tear in all of the medial meniscus. Literature also reports that the most common bucket handle tears in all the medial meniscus. Tear was the commonest pathology affecting the ACL, most being acute in nature. Partial PCL tear was the commonest PCL pathology in our study, which was in accordance with our literature. One third of our patient had a bone contusion, which compared well with the existing literature. TPA was more commonly involved than femur by contusions, and lateral femoral condyle was involved more frequently than its medial counterpart. Our deals are concluded with the existing literature. Acute ACL tears were usually associated with bone contusion in our study. Similar association was reported in previous studies. Conclusion, MRI evaluation in patient with painful knee is of vital importance as MRI scan can demonstrate the exact nature and extent of bony as well as soft tissue abnormality. It can potentially replace other imaging modalities like X-ray CT scans for the radiological evaluation of a painful knee and is helpful in clinical decision making. Multiplanar imaging capacity and non-invasive nature of the MRI enables a satisfactory diagnosis in such patient in whom a complete clinical examination is almost impossible due to pain. These are the references. Thank you.